hi everyone in today's video on nautical mathematics we have the topic of Napier's rules so here the question is there's a spherical triangle ABC find the angle B and angle C to the nearest minute given that the angle A is 90 degrees side A is 39 degrees 23 minutes and side C is 24 degrees and 36 minutes so when you see that there is a spherical triangle ABC, the ABC denotes the three angles of a spherical triangle. Now remember, when you draw the spherical triangle as I have here, you don't draw it like a plane triangle. The sides have to be slightly curved to represent the arcs of a uh, circle. Right? So that's what a spherical triangle is composed of. They are composed of arcs of a great circle. Or a small circle but they are composed of arcs not plain straight lines as in plain triangles so you don't draw a spherical triangle like this you always give it certain arcs right? like arcs give it some curves some arcs like that right so you can call any angle ABC but once you label the angles remember to label the sides opposite to them as a B and C as well but when you write a B and C as in the sides when you label the sides make sure that you can distinguish between the sides and the angle what I mean is that you should not write the side a same as angle a because you will get confused so write them in a way that you can distinguish which a stands for angle and which a stands for the side I normally use capital letters for angles and small letters for sides so you can see angle B looks different from side B and angle C looks different from side C I've just put a stroke across the C to distinguish it otherwise it's hard to distinguish the two C's so once you have drawn the triangle label ABC label the sides ABC opposite to the angles and then write the values of the ones that are given to you so in this case of course I was given the value of side A and side C and I have to find the value of angle B and C angle A is already given to me all right then once you have done that make sure you draw the Napier's diagram draw a circle divide the circle into two semicircles by drawing a line across it the top semicircle divided into two halves and the bottom semicircle you divided into three parts write the 90 degree angle outside the circle then write the sides which are next to the 90 degree angle so the 90 degree angle is a here so I have written it outside the circle and then the sides next to the 90 degree angle is side C and side B write them next to one another on the top semicircle once you have written the sides C and B then write the angles opposite to them so opposite side C is angle C but prefix it with a 90 minus so anything you write in the bottom semicircle will be prefixed via 90 minus and then the side opposite B write 90 minus B and then the remaining side is 90 minus A which comes in the center all right what you have been given is of course 90 minus A when I say 90 minus A is given I mean A is given so you know 90 minus A and side C is given to you and using these two values you have to find the angle B and C you can also find out side B but that is not asked of you in the question here so to find angle B first use the ones that you know so use side c and side 90 minus a to find out 90 minus b so there are only two rules for napier's diagram so the first rule is sine of the middle part equals tan of the adjacents which means in this case using the ones that we know to find the one we don't know sine of the middle part mid part becomes sine 90 minus b equals to tan of the adjacent so what is adjacent to 90 minus b is side c so this is adjacent to 90 minus b and this is also adjacent to 90 minus b tan 90 minus a all right then sine 90 minus b becomes cos b that is the trigonometric rule so side sine of 90 minus any angle becomes cos of that angle and cos of 90 minus any angle becomes sine of that angle right and then put in the values for side c and side a in the brackets then you can solve this and that gives you 50 degrees 37 minutes the rest remains the same you can multiply them 
cos b equals 0 0.55771 and taking cos to the other side you get cos inverse of b and you get b equals 56 degrees 6.1 minute this is the value of the angle b similarly if you want to find angle c or 90 minus c in this case angle c you have to use the one which is given to you that is side c and side a or 90 minus a in this case you will not use 90 minus b although you have just found out what is b you don't use that because if you have made a mistake in finding out angle b you don't want to carry that mistake forward so how do you find out 90 minus c or angle c you use the second rule of napiers which is sine of mid part equals cos of opposites so remember using the two that you know you have to find out the one that you don't know so in this case the mid part is side c and opposite to side c is 90 minus a and 90 minus c so side c becomes mid part and opposite to side c is opposite to side c in this case was 90 minus angle c and 90 minus side a so sine of mid part equals cos of the opposites so here of course c is given to you so you write sine 24 degrees 36 minutes 90 minus c or cos of 90 minus c becomes sine c and cos 90 minus a becomes sine a again rule of trigonometry sine 90 minus any angle becomes cos of that angle and sine and cos 90 minus any angle or any side becomes the sine of that angle or side all right so this is how it looks like cos of 90 minus a becomes sine a and sine 90 minus a will become cos a all right so whether it's an angle or a side cos of 90 minus anything becomes sine of that thing and sine of 90 minus anything becomes cos of that thing anyhow all right so for now i will erase it so that you guys don't get confused all right so put the values here so keeping this is the unknown of course you take this to the other side so when you take sine a to the other side because it was in a multiplication relationship it becomes a division relationship with sine 24 degrees 36 minutes and then simply put the values of a here 39 degrees 23 minutes and divide the two sine of c becomes 0 0.656071 take sine to the other side so shift sine becomes shift sine inverse and that will give you c value of 41 degrees all right so there are only two rules to the napiers remember use the ones that you have to find out the ones that you don't have and once you start finding out the new values don't use them to find the other values because you don't want to carry any errors forward always use the ones that you have to find the ones you don't have so hope this video was useful to you i have multiple videos on napier's rules but i thought i will teach you this in terms of the nautical mathematics otherwise napier's rules is used mainly for great circle sailing or composite great circle sailing thank you for watching